Good morning, happy Monday to you all, and welcome to Cycle Day 23, 8DBO. And my symptoms are, well, I don't have any symptoms. <laughs> I mean, I've had some like, some tingling, tingling in my belly, but who knows what that is. But I guess the first sign of AF trying to come is, um, I don't know if you guys remember that before I get my, um, my menstruation, I usually get pimples either on the side or on the top of my forehead or whatever. Well, I got two big old pimples like on my chin and I didn't even know they were there and I had done a video that day and I had no clue that they were there until I went to the mirror and I was just like oh hell no <laughs> what y'all doing there and I was like oh man I hope my period don't you know doesn't try to come and then um this weekend I had you know how you kind of feel it trying to come or whatever you get like a little pain in your face where you feel like a pimple is trying to emerge well i had that for like a couple of days but the pimple just never surfaced it just went away thank god so yeah um so yeah i haven't really been thinking about this whole this cycle has been you know like i said you know i get married next week Oh my God, I get married next Saturday, y'all. Can y'all believe it? I can't believe it either. We get married Friday, we got our marriage license. And it was just so cool. <laughs> Cause it was like a few, a couple of other um, couples in there. And they had one particular couple that were getting married at the courthouse. And I was kind of like secretly wishing that, um, that we had done that. Because it's just been so much drama so much drama y'all I mean people my mother always said that you know and I didn't really you know think I thought she was overreacting but when we first started planning the wedding she told me she said you're gonna see the true side of people if you hear a cat making noise that's Sam I'm gonna introduce y'all to them one of these days she liked to talk <laughs> so don't pay no mind so anyway, um, you'll see the true side of people um, during this time. Like, everybody ain't gonna be happy for you. Like, that's like the worst thing. It's like, when we first, okay, let me tell y'all the quick synapses of what happened. I had chose uh, two bridesmaids and one maid of honor. You know, these are people that I've known for 10 years, you know, more than I guess you can say more than nine years, more than eight years. I've known them for a long time. And so I thought it'd be nice that um, they would be, and I would ask them to be my, um, my, my bridesmaid and my maid of honor. So we had our first meeting uh, for the wedding meeting, wedding bridal party meeting in February. Okay. And so we outlined everything. My mother had all of the fabric. You know, we had the colors down pat. We gave them, my mother is a seamstress, and um, she said, she told them, look, get the fabric, you choose what style, bring the pattern, and I will make the dress for free. And she told them, you could have, you know, one week, get the fabric to me so that I can start cutting it out, you know, I can measure you all and start cutting it out so we can get it done and get it over with, you know, because we're trying to avoid, you know, doing things at the last minute and my wedding was, you know, is in May and May comes quick and most weddings, people don't really plan their weddings that early. They usually take six to nine months or six months to a year to plan a wedding. My wedding was being planned in like four months. So we didn't really have a whole lot of time to, you know, waste. So, okay, the deadline came, no phone call, no nothing. Nobody brought the fabric, nobody called to say why they didn't bring the fabric. Just no call, no show, no nothing. So I'll say, okay, fine. So my mother's like, well, what happened to your people? They were supposed to bring me the fabric. So I'm calling, 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 no answer. No answer phone call, no answer text messages, nothing. So two weeks later, I get a text on a Saturday at 11 something at night saying, oh, um, uh, 
we don't really understand why she wants to make the dresses so early. Um, we're going to get somebody else to make the dresses. And I'm just like, hmm. But you can call me and tell me that two weeks ago, you know? And so at this point, we were going into March. And so I'm just like, oh, Lord, here we go. And it was just the same thing. So I'm trying to call them. After I got that text, I'm just like, when do you think you will have the fabric? No response. So I'm calling, 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 calling. And so I said, you know what? I'm not even going to deal with it. So I text both of them and said, I have decided that I am not going to have any bridesmaids. That's it. And that was the end of it. So I got a text message. Oh, wow. And so I ain't really paid no mind. So I just let that go. One less headache. You know, I don't have time. One thing I don't do is chase people. So here we go now. I'm giving my maid of honor, who has yet to find any fabric of any sort. She's giving me one excuse after the next how. No, she lost the swash that my mother gave her. Lost it. Don't have it. Needs another one. My mother's like, are you serious? Okay, fine. So she gives me another one. I have to drive all the way down to her mother's house and give it to her. Fine, okay. So I'm calling her every week. No, I haven't I haven't gone I haven't um looked for it yet. Okay, cool. So I keep calling, calling, calling. Hello, when are you gonna get the fabric so my mother can make the dress? Oh no, I'm gonna have somebody else make the dress. Okay, fine. When are you gonna let me know what the progress is going so you know we can be on point? So I gave her a month. A month the month of March, I didn't bother her at all. This is my maid of honor, that is. Maid of honor didn't bother her, didn't call, she didn't call me. Didn't call me, didn't say X, Y, and Z, A, B, C. So here we now are into April. April, nothing. Nothing about the dress, nothing. I'm focusing on getting my stuff together and everything like that. Fast forward until last week. I said, so-and-so, what's going on with your dress? Oh, um... My, I'll be able to try on my dress on Wednesday, that was Wednesday past, and I'll have the dress for your mother to see on Saturday. Okay, cool. Great. Wonderful. So, Wednesday comes, Wednesday goes. No phone call, no nothing. Thursday comes, Thursday goes, Friday comes, Friday goes. No contact. My mother calls her and, you know, she assures my mom, I will show you the dress on Saturday. Saturday, I go to my mom's house around 12.30. My fiance and my dad went to um, the mall to go get the their suits. I didn't hear from this chick all day long. No call, no show. No respond to text messages, no respond to nothing. Just complete silence. So I'm getting ready to leave my mom at 5.30 in the evening, getting ready to go home. My fiance got his suit. Everything is fine and dandy. No response from this chick. So my mom is like, I'm, she called her and told her, you are not in the wedding anymore. We've tried to contact you. We've given you ample time since February to get your dress. You have not. You have not responded to phone calls. You have been missing. You are not, no longer in the wedding. It's so, I can't tell, it maybe was not even 15 minutes when my mother left that message. I was still on the road on my way home. She calls me immediately. Oh, your mother says that I'm out of the wedding and I want to hear it from you. And I was just like, okay, so where's your dress? Oh, the lady hasn't even sewn it yet. Excuse me? I get married in a week. And your dress hasn't even been sewn. Oh, she's very busy. Hello. My free mama was there. All you had to do was pick a style, pick a pattern, get the fabric, and give it to her. Have her measure you, and the, everything would be done for you. She's going on and on about how it's prom season, which is understandable, but you've had four months. 
oh well you know i didn't want to make the dress that early because i'm gonna gain weight hello honey it is easier to to uh to alter a dress as far as do alterations versus trying to make a whole brand new dress you know my mother's the same she's been one for hundreds of years hello you know what i'm saying you giving me a whole bunch of excuses what are you gonna do Oh, I guarantee. And I said, well, come on. You knew the dress. You told me that you were going to try on a dress Wednesday. You knew the dress was not even made yet. You didn't pick up the phone on Wednesday. You didn't pick up the phone on Thursday. Nor did you pick up the phone on Friday. You got up Saturday morning. Didn't even knew my mother was waiting for you to come. And you did not even show up. Nor did you call. But now what well, my mom said, you're not in the wedding anymore. And now you all upset with me. So, of course, she wants to argue, holler, and scream. So, I was like, you know what? That is it. You're not invited to the wedding. Neither is your family. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a nice life. Bam. That's it. I don't have time for foolishness. It's just crazy. Like, come on. I know nobody can say that, that I'm bridezilla or crazy. Because I allowed you to pick your own style, the own fabric, as long as it stays within the color scheme, your own fabric style, and, and color. You understand what I'm saying? And the dress would have been made for free. Yet, you duck and dodge, don't return phone calls, give me a whole bunch of excuses. People don't have time for that. Foolishness. And plus, there is no guarantee that this lady's going to make this girl a dress within a week. You know, we have a lot of family. My mother is Bahamian. So we have a lot of family coming from the Bahamas and all over the country. People are coming from out of town. The week of my wedding is not the time to chase after bridesmaids or maids of honor so to figure out, hello, where is your dress? When are you going to get your dress? Is your dress ready? I don't, who has time for that? I know this is long and y'all don't want to hear this, but I just had to vent because it's just ridiculous how people just take advantage of your kindness. You know, I could have just been one of those people that just said, here, bam, this is the dress, wear it. You don't want to wear it too bad. You know, but I'm not like that because I know things fit body shapes differently and I don't want to force a style on somebody you know that they don't like and you know of course my pictures are going to be on Facebook going to be on all over the place and I don't want anybody to feel bad so that's why I try to be a little bit lenient but then when you have people who just will not cooperate won't cooperate for the life it just turns a very simple what I thought was a simple situation into a very difficult situation and so I have three people that are extremely angry with me and you know what it's my wedding you know what I mean I want it to be good I want it to be perfect you know a wedding is something that people dream of when they're little kids you know what I'm saying and you want it to be done right but I think the hardest part in dealing with the is with a wedding is dealing with people who just will not cooperate you know and it's just crazy and so it's just like you know, she wasn't helping me. She's my maid of honor. She wasn't helping me do nothing. I'm planning my own bridal shower. I'm doing pretty much everything by myself. We went when we went to get the um, the decorations and stuff for the bridal shower. She was on the phone half the time. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, you know what? I mean, just completely uninterested and just, you know, don't get this, don't get that. Just one of those neg negative people who just don't like nothing. You know, what do you like? Oh, no, I don't like this. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. You shouldn't do this. But don't never have a suggestion of, and their suggestions are thousands and thousands of dollar costs. They don't have the money to give you what they want, but they want it. It's crazy. So, yeah. So, I don't know what's going on with my cycle because I've been just fussing all weekend long. My fiance was just like, See, I told you, you just got married to the courthouse. You didn't listen and look at all this craziness. We could have been married by now. And he is absolutely right. But, you know, my mother was like, no daughter of mine is getting married at the courthouse. So it's like I'm trying to please everybody and then end up like being sad because, you know, I lost some friends and I don't know. Well, the Lord will bless me with some new ones, hopefully. So... That's just how it is. It is what it is. But yeah, hopefully my period should come, is expected to come on cycle day 26 because it came on cycle day 26 last month. So I'm hoping that it doesn't come. I need some kind of happiness. <laughs> I 
with these some kind of positivity is a, just to smooth out the rest of the the time for this wedding i just cannot wait for this whole process to be over so we all can take a a breather and this is probably why it's hard for me to get pregnant because of stress you know what i'm saying so i think once this wedding is over and we're all relaxed and we get in you know our routine of married life i think i'll be like Poop, pregnant <laughs> But y'all, thanks for listening to my story. I know some of y'all, I've heard worse stories than mine. I've heard of bridesmaids and maids of honor, like not showing up at the wedding at all or giving their dress at the last minute, they not coming. So I've heard of some worse stories. Mine is not even the worst. So I've heard some crazy wedding stories about people acting nuts. But that's life, it is what it is. Nothing worth having is, is easy. So. I will see y'all probably Wednesday, and I'll talk to y'all later.